Okay, guys, when I say I have been busy, 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 I have not been lying. So while I'm doing other things, we have truly been enjoying the freezer meals that I made earlier. And they're so convenient. And I absolutely love them. However, now I'm acquiring more things that are refrigerated and they don't last as long in the refrigerator. Plus, I need my refrigerator space. So about two days ago, I acquired a five pound bag of coleslaw. Didn't know what to do with it until I learned you can can it. As you can see, I have got a lot of coleslaw, five pounds to be exact. So I found this recipe for four pounds. I'm going to adjust it. I need to add a little bit more carrot. And this recipe actually calls for an onion. So I'm gonna add an onion to it as well. And I am going to be using my little hand grater to make the job just a little bit easier. And I'm bringing up the start of the show. I need one and a half onions. Small diced. Have mercy. Oh, I'm glad I used that thing. I think I'm going to need a couple of larger bowls. I'm not used to making this much of anything. So I've added salt and covered my cabbage to pull the water. And now I'm going to make my brine. For the brine, I need five and a half cups of vinegar. That's four. Plus one and a half. Now I have an extra pound, so I have to adjust for that. Okay, so I hope I did my math right. This is after work math and my brain is drained. So five and a half cups divided up comes out to about one and a third cups of vinegar per pound. So I'm going to add one and a third cup more vinegar for that extra pound. And there we go. Now we need four cups of sugar. Two tablespoons of celery seeds. Guys, I thought I had every seasoning there was. Apparently not. So it's apparently one per, plus I have an extra pound. Nope, that's a half, that's a half. I'm overdoing it, there we go, half. Oh, that got a running start. Two teaspoons of mustard seeds, and that's for the four pounds, but the extra pound is gonna require a half. I could switch it over to the half, but I don't feel like it. Oh dear, I almost forgot a cup and a half of water. Might have been a little bit stout. Oh, I need to add a little bit more water. I am adding half a cup to cover for that extra pound of cabbage that I have. I'm going to bring this to a boil, let it cool, drain my cabbage and jar it up. That's what they say do on YouTube. And hopefully it works out just fine. Now guys, I will show you something. This package of cabbage that I got also came with um, a smaller pack inside because it's for coleslaw. I don't want to go to waste. So I'm not gonna add this because I don't want my coleslaw to turn pink. Now I know I said I wasn't going to do recipes on this, but this is the very first time I've ever made anything like this. And I've forgotten that asked for a large red bell pepper. Well, I don't have a red bell pepper. I have our green ones and I have tons of them. They taste about the same. They're just in different shapes of ripeness. So I'm adding two small ones and adding a little bit more salt. And right now, I'm continuing to stir the brine until the sugar's melted. I still feel a few crystals. Looks pretty hot, see the steam. I'll keep stirring that until they all dissolve. All right guys, I don't have a lot of time for this and I am struggling because it's my first time. So I am just going to do one or two jars and show you what I'm doing. This is what I saw on YouTube. I hope they were right. I'm stuffing my cabbage in first. I hope I mixed it up enough. I think I did. I actually went from bowl, bowl to pan, as you can see, so I'm not really sure. And I hate that I'm touching this. I really feel like I need gloves, like I'm contaminating my coleslaw or something. I mean, my hands are clean, but I just, I don't like that at all. And I'm wondering if this funnel is even helping. I feel like it's not, or I'm just trying to rush it. I am making a mess without it. 
I'm going to try it without it. All right, either way, I am going to go ahead and fill these jars that I have and pour the brine over and come back. I hope I'm not messing this up. Okay, this actually smells pretty good. The brine does not smell so good, but I got the, the pickling and I saw where someone actually used the mixed pickling spices. That actually smells pretty good. So I'm putting in an eighth of a spoon in each jar. Well, not quite because I'm still sticking to the bottom. So it's even a little bit less than that, which I feel better about. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to try to put this brine over. Where's my ladle? Oh, this takes some getting used to, guys. So I'm guessing you have to stir because you've got mustard seed, you've got celery seeds, you want all kind of seed down in there. You don't want one to have more seeds than the rest. So I guess you just go to the bottom and come up. I do know where to fill it to. I fill it to that line just below the, there we go. And I will debubble. As I am making such a mess, this is a very messy, I think once I become better organized, I might do a little bit better. Not sure. Now I did make the jars warm. Oops, that's it. So my mother's cooking something and the oven is ready. All right, I'm gonna finish these up, wipe them off and get them in the canner. So yes, guys, I ran down to the local Walmart because I don't wanna mess up. That is pickling spice, not crisp. I don't want seasoned cabbage by the time I'm done. So I hope I make this in time. Okay, I'm getting to canning jars. This is a neighborhood store, so I'm not really sure what they have, but I am hoping against all hopes. I passed it. I passed it. It's a very, very small section and it's on this end. Oh my goodness, I'm not even sure that they have it anymore. I'll pick you back up when I find it. So I found the section and we do have it here. Now I just have to find it. I'm heading to check out, I think I got it. Yay. I hope my coleslaw hasn't turned brown. I have this canner going. This one has three. And then this one has, I'm guessing nine. Um, the water has not come to a boil yet. I understand it's about to come to a boiling boil. Which of course we know I then process for 15 minutes. So, okay, I'm glad that's done. And it looks just like it does in the YouTube pictures. I am so excited. I did have half a jar that I left in the refrigerator. And I'm going to tell you, after a couple of days, I tried it. It's really good. So, I'm going to put that away and stack it and start on my next batch of items. I was next gifted some glazed strawberry, and it's taking up freezer space. It's got to go on the shelf. In my cabbage pretty okay off to the glazed strawberries i am putting away strawberry glaze i've got three bags of these that i was gifted and it is so good it's the topping that goes like on top of waffles and pancakes and cheesecake and i don't want it to go bad and it is taking up freezer space again which is why i bought the upright so i can make meals and keep a freezer cleared just for those meals these accidentally went into the wrong freezer because I didn't have freezer space anywhere else, so they need to go on the shelf. Wow, that really filled up the can a little bit more than I thought, but I'm pretty excited. When I'm getting that started and warmed. I've brought out my water bath canner and a new case of jars, which I'm going to wash and sterilize and get ready. I forgot to show and mention, I did add one full cup of lemon juice, 5% acidity because I'm not sure how these were processed and after tasting the lemon juice made it quite tart so I did add four cups of sugar. Okay, so I skipped showing you the processing part, but you know what that looks like. I processed the pints for 15 minutes and I had so much left, mostly syrup. So I decided to go ahead and use cord jars because I didn't want to waste my pint size jars for something I could use for something else. So this turned out really well. I'm excited and I can put it on my shelf. And what can you do when you get too much pico de gallo and guacamole? Freeze it in individualized size portion bags, take it out the night before, put it in the fridge, and the next day, voila. 
Until next time, guys, be happy, be healthy, most importantly, stay safe.